What's that? Give everyone your name and rank right now My so they know who's oh, talking. Shit. I'm, I'm Johnny Gregor. I'm, I'm the head coach here at GRMMA. I haven't been as successful as in my pro career yet, but Sean Mack has been pretty much... I call him my twin. Like I kind of got him when I got hurt. I got to kind of give him all my skills, and he's the one that's like selling at the moment. Uh, I'll be back though. You will see me very soon. Awesome. Yeah. What happened to you? Yeah, two neck surgeries. Oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, good lift. How's my baby doing? Still kicking. Still kicking. Tell us a bit about GRMMA, man. GRMMA? Yeah. Best gym in the state. I know a lot of people won't agree with that, but a lot of people don't fight us, so definitely the best striking gym in the state by far. Uh, it's our Swedish uh, import over there. Magnus, I feel like it's our uh, secret weapon. Uh, a lot of people don't know about uh, the, the history behind me and him. We both, he has about 25 years kickboxing. I got about 20 boxing, 15 kickboxing. Uh, reason not a lot of people actually come out of here at the highest level because a lot of people can't kind of keep up with it. Uh, we do a lot it's of pain, shown, bro. pain acceptance, yeah. yeah. But the people that do, like John Mack, I mean, you, you, that, that, that's the product. Right and there. then they excel. That's the example of people that came out of here. Um, but that, that's it. Everyone isn't going to excel, especially in the sport. I mean, we have a lot of fighters that I could say are high-level kickboxers or high-level martial artists, but they don't fight. And that's probably why, because they can commit to it. People that fight, they just can't take the mental part of it. They can't. You know, they, they end up fading away after a while. Or they lose a fight and then they realize it's a reality check for them. You know, this sport isn't about winning or losing. It's how long can you stay in it? You know, how many people can you fight? Who will you fight? You I've seen know? a lot of kids quit after just getting hit in the face yeah. and be like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that was going to happen. Or, or the, their pro <laughs> career is, is fighting uh, Michigan guy after Michigan guy. You know, half of my amateur fights were out of state. My first yeah. pro fight was out of country. So where are you coming from, man? Sweden. Sweden. Really? I thought Magnuson was like uh, African or South Africa. Could be. Could be, you never could know, be. right? Never been there. Yeah, could huh? Be a shit ton of Magnuson down there. So you still got a little bit of accent in you, man. You've been over here stateside for a while? Since 2006. Yeah, right on. Right on. So what's your major specialty? What are you here, what are you here for as far as uh, the training in the fight game? I like to hit stuff. I like to kick stuff. Yeah? I'm not against choking stuff, but I prefer to elbow orgies, stuff. Out, man. It's not that easy in America. They're way too, they're way easier Come going overseas. Hours, <laughs> yeah, I've heard no, stories. No, <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, I don't know, I like striking of yeah. all kinds. And uh, I got a lot of traditional martial arts. So, uh, it's, you got an international record or what do you no, got? No, no. Did you no. do any formal fighting over there or anything? Not really. I mean, uh, the, the, uh, the amateur fighting in, uh, in Sweden, when I grew up, pro fighting was actually illegal. So that made the good amateurs really good. Are you familiar with our east side of the state or Harley the Swede Wallen? No, no, really. yeah, not he, he I, same thing for him. Yeah. He came over here and then he took a pro fight uh, to prove that hey, I do know what I'm yep. talking about. But over there, it wasn't. And I actually have him on this same yep. series yep. talking about that. So anyway, so yeah, here's our here's our west side of the state, Swede. Yep. And uh, yep. but uh, yeah, man. So you've been over here for probably about nine years now, ten years. Yeah, something like that. 2006. I moved 2006. on actually on uh, Friday the 13th. Eight, 13th. Nine. Yeah. Um, Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's been but, all uh, downhill since then. Yeah. No, when I moved there, I actually stopped training completely for a couple of years. And then, uh, you know, once in, you're never really out. You no. started, it starts itching. So Were you I found these guys, and, you know, I had gained a solid 20 pounds of pure daddy fat. And uh, I'm still extremely out of shape and just lazy. You got a wife and kids and everything yep, over yep. here? Yeah, yep. right on. Did you meet a state girl, or did yep. you bring your. Yeah, yep. right on. Good job, man. So now it's kids and dogs and be modeling the house. And all the other so stuff. how'd you find GRMMA? Who'd you know here? I didn't. I just walked in on their old gym and, yeah. uh, and started kicking backs and they said, you seem like you kicked really hard. Maybe you want to teach us that. <laughs> so I'd have whipped them of, legs that's out. kind of how it happened. Right on, man. So, well, it's good to meet you. Again, uh, this is the series Gloved and uh, it's really good to meet you, man. Thank you for everything you're doing with our kids. You're